The rise in commodity food prices was inevitable as the onset of the dry weather spell that has already claimed the lives of several livestock in the arid and semi-arid areas begins to bite. Some regions in the Upper Eastern Province have also reported a crop failure after the short rain season failed. The Meteorological Department has warned that the ongoing dry spell could have an even more negative effect on food availability in the near future, despite the bumper harvest realized during the last long rains. The crops that will be harvested from the wrong rains will only come into the markets, say, earliest in June and July. The weatherman is blaming the current situation in areas such as Pokot and Somburu on the failure of the October-November short rains and is warning that areas in northeastern, southeastern and northwestern are likely to be hit hard by the dry spell. So you said this is not drought, it's merely a dry spell which should be expected around this time of the year. But what are the implications of this, especially on our uh, major food producing areas? We wouldn't be too worried in terms of uh, the areas that produce a lot of uh, grains. Despite this assurance, data from the Ministry of Agriculture points to a different story. In the last one month alone, the price of a 90 kilogram bag of dry maize in Nairobi has increased from 1,800 shillings to 2,000 shillings, while a bag of beans has gone up from 4,500 shillings to 4,800 shillings. Similar trends have been noted in the movement of prices of potatoes, onions and fruits whose prices have increased by between 2 to 300 shillings per bag. The meteorological department is however hopeful of improved food supply once the long rains arrive. The situation on the ground is raising alarm over further increases in food prices which could trigger artificial food shortages in anticipation of higher returns for traders. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Business.